Hi guys, in this channel, I'm actually hoping to start a new series where I'm gonna start speaking in English, in slow English because a lot of people have complained to me that I speak a little too fast in English and you can't really understand what I say The thing is, if let's say me or anyone else on the internet and you feel that um, they speak too fast what you can do is actually press the um, you, you can actually control the speed yourself so if you're on desktop you can actually um, control the speed here in the um, the the setting button and then you press 0 0.75 and then I'm gonna be speaking much much slower if you do that so for me, I'm quite impatient and whenever I watch a video in English or in Bahasa Indonesia, I will always watch it at um, double speed because um, for me, normal speed is just way too slow and way too boring. So in this series, I want to start speaking in English so that you can have enough input in English and train your listening skills. I've been inspired by language YouTubers that I personally watch. And they are a piece of French inner French and Portuguese with Leo. So these channels are made for intermediate language learners in French and Portuguese, well, where they're not teaching a language, but they're speaking the target language that the subscribers are learning in a very clear and slow way. So this is an excellent way to learn that target language in a more fun and authentic way. And also a very good way to improve your listening skills. So for me, personally, when I learn a language, I don't really like to... I, I don't really like to watch a lot of grammar videos or tutorial videos because I find that extremely boring. But that's just me. It's my personal opinion. Some other people might enjoy these things. So sometimes I like to watch videos in French. But my level in French is not good enough to understand a native speaker speaking in full speed without subtitles. However, when I watch YouTube channels like Inner French or A Piece of French, I can understand a lot because um, they speak very clearly, they speak very slowly, and when there's a new expression that um, the subscribers may not know, they will add a text here or on the screen somewhere. And that is an excellent way and a very natural way to learn um, new expressions in English to learn English a more authentic and a more natural way So thanks to these channels. I'm inspired to make my own version of it So I'm not really sure what I will be talking about right now This is just an introduction on why I wanted to make this uh, series But if any of you guys have any request of um, what topic I should talk about Feel free to comment down below and I will definitely consider talking about it in the next videos. Well, here I actually want to talk to you why I think this is a great way to learn a language. For me personally, when I learn a language, the skill that I um, prioritize the most is first the listening skills. Because you can be studying a language with a textbook and or you can read as many books as you can in that target language. But if you don't, um, if you don't train your listening skills, you won't be able to communicate well. So for instance, this year, I start learning Portuguese from Europe, the European Portuguese, because there's um, European Portuguese and there's Brazilian Portuguese. European Portuguese is very fast. Brazilian Portuguese is a lot easier to understand because they speak a lot clearly. They um, accentuate the vowels and um, yeah, they, they, they speak clearly in my opinion. But European Portuguese is a little harder to understand. Thing is, when I read things, when I read an article or a book in Portuguese, I'm able to understand most of it because of my knowledge in Spanish. However, when I start speaking in Portuguese with a person from Portugal, Portuguese person, um, where they speak in European Portuguese, for me, the conversation stops there. Even though I can say a lot of simple things, blah, 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 once they start asking me a question back, I can't answer because I don't understand what they're saying. So this is why when I learn new language, my priority is to improve the listening skills so that I can understand what is being said. 
if you're an Indonesian speaker and then you're learning English, listening skills is extremely important because English is one of those languages where what you read and what you hear is completely different. For instance, the word enough. If you're, Baha if you're Indonesian, when you read the word enough, you would probably pronounce it enog, enog, enough, enough. And when you hear enough, the way the word is written and the way the word is pronounced is extremely different. So that's why it's very important to get used to how it's pronounced and see how it is, how, how it's written. If you've been exposing yourself to textbook English or to reading English in a book, you don't really know how these words are pronounced. So once a native speaker comes up to you and say these words in full speed, you wouldn't understand. Because probably in your mind, enough is not um, written E-N-O-U-G-H. It's probably written E-N-U-F or something. So this is the reason why when you're learning English, you cannot only rely on um, um, learning from a text. You have to train your speaking, um, your listening skills as much as possible. This is the reason why I would like to create this series so that you can improve your listening skills while you read the subtitles below. So um, I have a bad habit of always rambling on and on and on about stuff, about things. But for this first episode, I'm going to try to keep it short. I actually haven't really thought about what I'm gonna name this. Maybe in the next episode, I'll come up with a cool creative name. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make this a podcast or anything like that because I'm not really thinking about creating a podcast, but maybe that could be an idea for the future, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this video and that you can train your English a little bit or you learn um, a few new words in English. So if you guys like this video, definitely comment down below because I would appreciate your feedback. If I see that a lot of people like this type of videos, I'm gonna be making more. So thank you so much. I will see you next time with another video. Bye.